Yeah, my, my mom told me that. Um, you know, she keeps track with all that stuff. Uh, it's just she told me and stuff. And it was kind of like crazy just hearing that. She called you or texted you? Or? She texted me. I was in class. So I kind of like walked out of class and you know, checked myself. Were you expecting it? or? Um, I wasn't really expecting it. You know, it was one of those things where, it, you know, it just happened at the moment. So uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty cool. You're a pretty confident guy. Did you see this? This in the card this early being you know, top five for this award. Um, it was it was in the back of my head. You know, that's, that's something I, I worked I worked towards. You know, this off season, and I, I was running for it in, in high school. You know, I always wanted to be back in the race. So I mean, just be back in it. You know, it's a great feeling. What were the you know the strides you made this off season and just this season alone? Where do you think? put you in um, to make you a finalist? It was my first year starting, so I didn't really know what to expect. And our uh, first year playing college football, you know, at this level, you know, at this uh, productivity. So um, it, it was one of those things where it was, I had to, you know, just be confident in myself and to believe in my training, you know, and just take it to them. Was there, was there, like, was it the first game or whatever? You're like, okay, all the hard work's paying off. It started to click out there. For uh, yeah, the first 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 game was one of those one of those moments where you had to adjust, you know, on, on the fly, you know, just get used to the college football pace and you know the atmosphere. And uh, that, that was probably the biggest test. You know, I was waiting on you know the whole summer. What stands out about this Ohio State offense, particularly? What challenge does Barrett kind of present with his mobility? Yeah, he's dual threat. Um, they got a lot of athletes around him. Uh, from the running back position, uh, the receivers, of course, and the tight ends. So, I mean, they're, they're all around, got a lot of playmakers on the field at one time, and, you know, they use, utilize them well in the passing game and the run game, and, you know, all, uh, as well as him running. So um, that's, that's the biggest challenge this week. Have you studied the film of them against Iowa and maybe take anything from that? Yeah. Um, you know, they're confident in what they do. Uh, you know, they believe in their playmakers. So, I mean, we have to, you know, Take them out early in the game, you know, and, and manage the game and control them. What can you guys show people this week? What can, what can you kind of show them about how far you guys are coming and who you are? Um, biggest game of the year, uh, last game of the year of the regular season. So, I mean, why not go out with a bang? And, you know, I think we got an opportunity just, just to get that, that bad taste out of our mouth, you know, for the regular season, you know, just end the season with a big W. So that's the biggest thing, you know, we're focusing on. The bad taste just from Wisconsin, or uh, it was just uh, just throughout the year. I mean, we had some tough losses this year. We had some, you know, some humps to get over during the year, and um, just just to win this game would mean everything. Else. Do you see guys rallying, being, yeah. basically being an underdog in this game? Oh yeah, of course. Um, you know, everybody's against us. Uh, we're not favored, and so I mean, once again, we have to just show them why. Does that upset you when you to, to hear that? No, nah, I don't, don't want to be favored. You know, I like being an underdog. Why? Motivation. I mean, why, why be favorite? You know, like, if you favor, you pretty much are trying to, oh, I'm just going to give you a W. I mean, I like being an underdog, you know, just taking things from people. What's Don Brown been like in practice this week? Well, he's been the same uh, this, whole, this whole season. Um, you know, he's just confident, you know, he's a very confident guy. Um, you know, he's going to give you his all, you know, with the game plan and, you know, our objective of the game. And, you know, he's going to let us fly around and, you know, get us ready for Saturday. Is there anything that makes this week feel different instead of just typical week-by-week -week game planning? Um, we try to keep it the same. You know, we won't try to do too much, you know, depending on what team you're playing. And we're trying to just keep it the same and keep prep the same and not trying to overstress anything. How often are you reminded of this game since you've been on campus? Um, not as much. It always been in the back of our head, you know. We've been watching them throughout the season. Well, I've been watching them throughout the season, you know, just just to get an idea of you know how they play, you know, you know, just just the flow of the game they have, and not as finally here, you know. I just can't wait to play Saturday. Just just from talking to former players, when did you did did you realize that this was a legacy type game? I mean, everyone sort of knows the yeah. record against Ohio State. Yeah, I, I kind of did uh, uh, from off of last year. But um, now that I'm actually, you know, in the in the fire, and um, I just want to see what it feels like, you know, to actually, you know, be out there full time and to play against this team. Who's been playing the role of uh, J T. Barrett in practice for the scout team? Um, Dylan McCaffrey, uh, 
you know, he, I, I think he's a, he's a do-it-all guy. I mean, he does exactly, you know, what they tell him to do. And he, I think he does a great job doing it. Everybody talks about JT, but uh, I say it's got a couple good backs back there. I mean, talk about just the dual threat that they bring. Um, they got the option game. You know, they got the RPOs. They got the, you know, the speed options, the jab steps. Um, and that's, that's just, you know, a college football thing. You know, having to stop a quarterback and a running back at the same time, and you know, not mess up gaps and mess up fits. So I mean, that's another challenge for us this week. Do you, I mean, because you you've faced a couple of option threats this year. I mean, Trace had some success against you guys at Penn State. I mean, what was it about that game? Have you guys worked out sort of? Yeah, it, it was one of those things where we had to work out, you know, those kinks and you know, come up with a new plan and make adjustments. So I think you know, we did a good job of that. Horst was saying yesterday that one of the big challenges about JT is that he's big and physical like a running back. How, is there any way that – how challenging is that for you, and is there any way that you adjust your game? With having uh, that? I'm going to adjust my game. I mean, he could be big all he wants. You know, he's still a quarterback at heart. He's going to play like a quarterback. You know, a lot of quarterbacks are not going to get hit. So you put a hat on him, he's, he's going to think twice about, you know, putting his head down and just running. When you got – when you found out that you were a finalist for the award, did you have you ever looked up the other guys yet or check out their stats or kind of see uh, how you not yet. that way? Not yet. Um, I know that I know there's some good players. I, I remember um, last last Saturday, um, Edwards was having having a pretty productive game against us. I think he had like eleven tackles or something like that. So I think he had a good game against us.